Welcome back to the Rant and Review Pro Wrestling. We're going to have a little bit of a news break today. Roman Reigns and CM Punk are getting angry at each other. WWE is now attacking another wrestling company. And the Friday Night War has some interesting numbers that came out. But before we get to any of that stuff, I want to remind you guys, of course, I always have some free goodies down in the description box below. You can get up to 30 days free of Amazon Prime or 30 days free of Audible if you prefer to listen to podcasts. Also got some free stocks available from Webull that could be worth up to $2,300. And you can get up to $250 of crypto if you use my BlockFi and my Celsius and or my Celsius link down below. Take advantage of that free stuff while it's still available for the rest of the year. So let's go to the Friday Night War and what happened after that. So it was a pretty interesting night where you had SmackDown, which had been moved to FS1, and they were going for two and a half hours, that last half hour bleeding into AEW's 10 o'clock slot with AEW Rampage, and then AEW countered by having an hour for free on YouTube as a buy-in pre-show to Rampage that night. So the shows were kind of going back and forth with each other, um, and everybody's worried about the number. Something I mentioned the other day is that it's, it, a lot of people who are alive now were not of age. I mean, even if they were around, they were probably like 10, 11 years old. They probably don't really remember. I gotta remember, if you were around then, that was almost 30 years ago when, when the Monday Night War happened. So you're talking about people who are in their 30s and their 40s, uh, or 20s and their 30s, who probably didn't really experience it. So now that you finally have a number two major league wrestling company that gets around and over a million viewers, and it's comparable to WWE's audience, which is about one and a half to two million viewers, the war, the numbers, the ratings all come into play. It's a war on multiple fronts too, because it's been, an, it's been kind of a quiet war for a while. It's been a numbers war. AEW is selling slightly more tickets than WWE, but in the ratings numbers and the demographics numbers, but they're all, not very easily comparable numbers. Let's take, for instance, the uh, live show attendance, the ticket sales for arena shows. Whereas AEW is almost, in, in some respect, some places they're doubling the amount of tickets being sold for WWE events. However, you have to keep in mind, some of these WWE events are a lot more expensive than the AEW tickets are. So there's that as part of it as well. When we get into the demographic numbers from Friday, Overall, of course, as I expected, because SmackDown is the most watched wrestling show in North America. And right now, it's be, you know it's over 500,000 more viewers typically than Raw has. So it's the WWE's B show. Be moving, being moved to FS1, I believe the number was about 780,000. I think it was up a little bit later to 850,000 or something like that. It was, it, they, they got another 100,000 people from somewhere. The uh, AEW Rampage show, which has been on a decrease for a while, I think they knocked it down to like 504, 540,000, whatever it was. So overall audience, as expected, WWE was going to outdo AEW. But then you get into the key demographics thing and there's a tie. But the thing that's, the number that's really interesting to me is the, th the half hour commercial free that both shows went up against each other AEW actually won that, and, and even Tony Khan was... Tony Khan's falling into this stuff a little bit too much. He needs to stop... He's, he's getting he's, he's getting to the point where, like, somebody take his, his phone away from him and stop tweeting. But he was tweeting out to different people and different media outlets about how it was a 15% uh, win for them as far as the audience during the 30-minute uh, that both shows were on at the same time. Now, as far as I'm concerned, and I, I said this the other week, I was like, the numbers are getting, it's getting a little bit ridiculous how everybody's really into these numbers. They really don't mean anything. At the end of the day, WWE, which who's been around for damn near 38, 40 years, however long they've been around as underneath Vince and have all of this history and decades and decades worth of market share and brand awareness, AEW's been around for just over two years. You know, it's like Coca-Cola you know, taking on a soda company that's been around for two years, you know, and maybe they had a good celebrity, uh, you know, uh, an announcer or celebrity commercial or whatever that really caught on with people. But even still, even at that, that two year old soda company is not going to beat Coca-Cola. So not anytime soon. It can't, and it can happen, but it's not going to happen. And some people will say, well, you know, how did WCW do it? WCW wasn't around for that long, but 
you know, again, more semantic games. WCW had was inherited, had inherited, did inherit the lineage of Jim Crockett promotions, and basically all of those promotions that were on TBS, Georgia Championship Wrestling, Mid South. It kind of it took all of those traditions, and that's that whole lineage is what WCW had. AEW spiritually is kind of the successor to WCW, but they don't have the heritage and the lineage of WCW and Jim Crockett Promotions and Georgia Championship Wrestling, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I, I think it's um, for a, two, a company that's over just two or three years old, I think AEW does well for what they're doing. They're providing another place for wrestlers to wrestle. They're providing a different style of wrestling that's a little bit more uh, gritty, a little bit more hard edge. Whereas WWE is doing sports entertainment and they're doing, they, they actually, that SmackDown I watched, they actually were doing sports entertainment well, for the most part, but they're two different kinds of genres in the same field. They're two comedies and one's like Full House and the other one's like a Dave Chappelle special. They're both comedies, but one's, one has appeal to a lot larger audience because it's more family oriented, whereas another one has more appeal to our hardcore audience. So it is what it is. The one place though that it is getting more interesting is apparently both companies have acknowledged finally that they're in a war. As I mentioned before, Tony Khan's yelling at people left and right on Twitter. You've got a, a diss track about the Young Bucks and that their their sneaker game is not what it is. I'm not a big sneaker person, so I don't even know. I'm not even into all that. It's a whole other subgenre that I, I know enough of them. I don't need to get into another subgenre. But there's a sneaker game thing between uh, Top Dollar, I think his name is, or whatever his name is on uh, NXT, and the Young Bucks about their sneakers being fake. You got Roman Reigns and CM Punk kind of trading shots back and forth with each other. And Roman's like, I'm big and handsome and, and, and buff. And CM Punk's a little scrawny guy. And I'd whoop his ass. And I'd whoop the whole roster's ass. Which then brought Junior Dos Santos in. Because, as you know, Junior just started wrestling in AEW. <laughs> and Junior Dos Santos said, hey, Roman, let me know that bar you would throw me out of. I'd like to go there and see you try, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I'm taking Junior Dos Santos in a fight against Roman Reigns, hands down. But it's 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 getting heated now. The companies are finally acknowledging that this is a war, and I think things are about to heat up. This is not going to be the end of it. There, there are now. Before it was kind of like every once in a while, you know, Jericho might say something, and Becky Lynch might say something, and Seth Rollins might say something. Can you know Kenny Omega would say something? Triple H too, would take a pot shot here, and you know little things like that but now we're kind of getting it on a daily basis where somebody in AEW is saying something is somebody in WWE or vice versa and it's 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 entertaining as long as it doesn't go too far AEW isn't the only wrestling company that WWE apparently is uh, going after because MLW Major League Wrestling is trying to get their streaming service up and they were supposed to be having a contract with Fox to get their streaming service up and uh, WWE was not too happy about it. And then, again, being partners due to, you know, Fox Sports with SmackDown on FS1, WWE apparently is uh, pulling some political strings to kind of delay MLW. That's as right now it's being delayed for them getting their streaming service up because, look, MLW is a lot of the talent you see at AEW came from MLW. You know, MJF came from MLW. Uh, you know, the Lucha Brothers were, you know, wrestling over there. And a lot of guys wrestled, who wrestled AEW, you know, were wrestling in MLW a couple years ago. So uh, MLW has always had a good roster. They've had a pretty consistent, like, third or fourth tier, you know, major league wrestling company. Again, another place guys can work and get, and get paid some money. So, you know, WWE punching on those guys really seems kind of crappy. Uh but hey, you know, we'll see We'll see how well that goes. I mean, if I'm Fox, it's like you guys are using Peacock. You guys are using NBC for your streaming service. Well, you care about what we're doing for our streaming service. So if I was Fox, I think Fox ultimately might just tell WWE, like, look, you, unless you want to pay us, you know, we're going to let the... We, We'll let these guys be our wrestling streaming service. You're doing your stuff with NBC Universal. So hopefully 2022 won't be a, just a toxic year in wrestling. But I want to know what you guys think about these stories, about all the tweeting and Roman and Tony Khan and CM Punk and Gina DeSantos. What do you think about the Friday Night Ratings? Which rating do you think matters? 
Does it matter that WWE beat AEW in overall viewership, or does it matter when the, the half an hour that they went to head to head, AEW actually had more viewers? Um, and what do you think about this whole thing about MLW possibly getting uh, trounced by WWE from having a streaming service? Let your voice be heard in the comment box below. Until next time, I implore you to check out some of my other videos here. I'm doing a Let's Play on my gaming channel with Resident Evil Village. So you can watch me scream and get killed over and over again by doing that. You can also hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Share the video wherever you talk about wrestling online. I definitely appreciate it. I will see you guys next time here for more news, rumors, and commentary on the Rant and Review Pro Wrestling. Have a good day.